Joining me now, General Terrence O'Shaughnessy, Commander of the United States Northern Command. Commander, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll, I'll let you get right back to work because I know you have a lot on your plate. I can't even believe what you guys are doing, building these hospitals, shipping supplies. I just saw you guys just intercepted a Russian jet entering Alaskan airspace and turned it away and even sending soldiers down to the southern border. Thank you very much. And just explain to the American people everything you're doing. Well, thanks, Jesse. Really appreciate the opportunity to highlight the things that the U.S. Northern Command and really our, our entire Department of Defense are doing. And you started just right, where our first objective is to defend our homeland. And so we make sure that we have the force that we need 100% of the time, 24-7, 365, even while we're in this virus. We make sure that we are ready, postured, to prepare to respond to anything. We have that done. We're ready to go. And at the same time, we're providing support all across the nation because our nation needs us. This is a whole of nation approach, whole of America approach. We're part of it. We get, as you mentioned, we got the hospital ships. We got Army Expeditionary Hospitals that are built up in the Javits Center in New York City. We're doing the same thing in Seattle. We're bringing stuff down to New Orleans, to Dallas, and we're postured to bring even more. We, we are part of this fight. Our commander in chief has declared a war on COVID and we're treating this like a large military campaign. I know you guys plan for everything, but did you guys war game this thing out or is this just on the fly? Well, I'll tell you what, Jesse, America wants us planning for the worst things, and that's exactly what we're doing. And, and we've been part of this all the way since the president made that incredibly important decision to restrict the flights from China. And we are part of bringing the American citizens home and quarantining them uh, in some of our military bases. And then some of the folks that were on those cruise liners, we, we were able to house them because uh, American citizens needed us. So we're trying to stay one step ahead of this. We're doing the plan, and we're making sure we're going to be there when our nation needs us. Well, we have a lot of confidence in you guys, and we owe you a huge debt of gratitude. It's just astounding what you guys can accomplish in such a short amount of time. Last question before I let you go. I know this isn't biological warfare, you know, we haven't come to that conclusion. The intelligence agencies don't believe it is. But thinking ahead years from now, our enemies have to see that this really brought this country to its knees. Are we prepared for our enemies to put together a biological agent that you can easily sneak into the country just through humans? They shake a bunch of hands, they cough on a bunch of people, and then here we are again shutting the whole economy down. How do you prevent that? Well, I think, Jesse, you've uh, you certainly hit a, an important point. And I think uh, as horrific as this is, this is going to help America prepare for the future. The whole of America approach is exactly the approach. And we haven't seen this since World War II, the way America is pulling together, whether it's the private-public partnerships, whether it's the interagency pulling together, whether it's the U.S. military contributing right here at home. America always, it, they stand up. When, they, when it's needed, America will pull together, and it will do this, whether that's something to get after the COVID-19 or something that comes at us in the future. General, thank you so much for your service, and America thanks you, and we appreciate you coming on the air tonight.